Hi, let's think about stronger cryptography. I'm not an expert, but I believe this idea might amuse some people. I suspect that this idea has already been elaborated and published by somebody else. But after all, I think the crux of the matter is simple enough for someone like me to understand and explain. In this video, I'm going to describe a very general scheme, which is extremely simple, but allows you to make it just as difficult to break as you want. Encryption is used in different types of situations. In the case I'm going to talk about, is the case where the private key is used to both encrypt and decrypt the message. Now, what we all want from a good encryption scheme, I suppose, is that the lack of the private key prevents recovering any portion of the original message, even if that someone has access to everything else but the private key, including the encrypted message, accessory keys, and the algorithm, and specifically the source code, and perhaps even partial knowledge of the original message. The ideal that we pursue is going to protect the remaining secret as secret, even in this situation. Now, as far as I know, in most encryption schemes, data is processed in small, constant-sized chunks. The message is seen as a series of chunks, which are independent units of encryption which share the same encryption function, including the private key. Therefore, in this scenario, each pair of the chunks represent a full example which an attacker may study to identify the whole function. So if you had to store the encrypted message under an incomplete control of access, leaking a tiny bit of your original message would pose a great threat to the security. I also see that people use a similar algorithm with various sizes of chunks and seem to consider larger chunk versions more secure. And I agree that larger chunk sizes can afford greater complexity which would make it more difficult to make efficient attacks. Now there is a problem. How do we maximally utilize the capacity for complexity, especially when the chunk size is very large, like 50 megabytes? How do we harness the complexity of the key into the complexity of transformation? Why, there is a very simple solution. The number of possible permutations of a sequence explodes with length. What's left is to find a good mapping from an arbitrary bit string to a permutation of given length. The computational cost of a good transformation will take at least n log n, and at most n square time. If that looks like slow, notice that we can freely choose the chunk size, and the complexity of the operation will scale automatically. Being neither a cryptographer or quantum physicist, I assume that at 50 megabyte chunk size, an average man with an average PC could produce a lock that is absolutely uneconomical to analyze. As to how to faithfully transfer the entropy of a key into a random permutation, I suggest producing a series of random numbers and sorting them. You could use good old keep it simple stupid or Mersenne twister and make a clever use of random bits to modify their state or output. To complete the picture, suppose that our average Joe wants to remember no more than a typable passphrase. I think we can maximally utilize the entropy in that key via PRNGs. Also, an accessory key would ensure an intractable relationship between the passphrase and the effective key. Incorporation of the accessory key has a dual function of adding complexity and individualizing the use of the software. Finally, I believe it should not be used alone, but in conjunction with value-modifying techniques. For instance, if we shuffle at byte level, we would end up exposing the frequency of bytes. Take that, NSA!